Hey Cancer, how are you? Welcome to your first half of June reading. Not really tied to the date or the time, but it's easier to find on the channel that way. Uh, this is for a general reading for the collective of Cancer Sun and Rising. It will not resonate with everyone. I can almost guarantee it. If it doesn't, that's okay. Don't shoot the messenger. It may just not be your week for a reading. Um, you can also check out the video that aligns with your rising sign if you're here as a sun sign or check out at least the titles of the videos for the sun and rising of your divine counterpart. Sometimes we speak, we readers speak directly to the cross watcher. It happens. Not always, but it happens. I always find that I just get better insight as a cross watcher to the other person, you know, other factors that I may not be aware of. So I'm just saying. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider joining us here. Subscribe, like, share. For those who are returning cancer, you're always so responsive and so kind, and I appreciate that more than you know. So thanks for being here and continuing to support the channel. I am pulling two cards from Energy Oracle, one for Divine Masculine, interesting, and one for Feminine. Both come out in reverse. This has been happening so far in most of the readings. The masculine gets, and you can flip the energies as I go through the reading as you need to. Um, the thinking woman in reverse. We got the thinking, did we get the thinking man? I think we got the thinking man in reverse for the feminine in another reading. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Thinking woman, card 47. That adds up to 11. Master number, sacred number. We do not reduce it. I will read that since it's in reverse. Feminine gets Magician in the Mirror, card 53, in reverse. I do want to take a peek at this just so that you have a feel for what you're being advised for this first half of the month or whenever you're watching. It should carry you for two weeks. How's that? That helps. Okay. Reverse this card uh, could represent a difficult time for your own personal growth. You may be feeling confused about your personal purpose or disconnected from your heart's true path. Look within and open up to your own inner guidance. Trust your intuition about what you need to learn in order to move on. So I feel it's about setting boundaries as well and um, your own spirit is always your best guide. So there is some measure here about your purpose being in the mindset of your purpose, and maybe there's some confusion. Go within. It's always the best bet. Card 53. I mean, the fact that you're even here, um, if you're here is in the masculine energy of your connection, shows that this is something that's important to you. So you're, you're already in process there. So this magician card and magician in the mirror uh, in reverse is warning you that you may be missing a great opportunity feminine the time is right but you're not taking advantage of the creative energy of this cycle you do have the power to transform things for yourself to create something new whether a home business family or life direction you may be resistant to or even disbelieving of the unlimited power you possess but it's time to wake up the misinformation and perceived limitations that linger from the past can no longer sustain you. Your life is the mirror that reflects your inner energy, yet you have the ability to change what you see. You must fully open up to the complete truth of your eternal wisdom, talents, and abilities and take the risk of believing in yourself. This is the magician card in the tarot, by the way. Now is the time to dig deep, find the confidence and courage within to make the most of this opportune cycle. You have all the resources you need and the unlimited force of the universe is at your disposal. It's waiting for you to recognize and ignite the phenomenal powers that are eternally yours. Feminine. Like ready, set, go. These feel kind of interestingly aligned to me. I'm just going to say that. Um, I know, and the fact that they came out in reverse. I feel like um, your, your respective spiritual teams are sort of cheering you on in a way. 
saying yeah like maybe maybe masculine's a little off their path with regard to their purpose or blocked or confused go within do the inner work it's already all there inside you feminine you're the magician here mm -hmm. this is an opportune moment whatever it is you're thinking about or trying to manifest you know put your energy believe in yourself believe in your personal power oh, i love that message so much i am pulling one card for you beautiful cancerians those who are watching from whispers of love oracle i like it because it's sweet it's gentle energy and i'd like to set you on a positive path for this first half of the month or whenever you're watching it oh this is a nice card here okay simple acts of kindness kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you sweet little energy here um, surrounded by all the little creatures in nature it is simple acts of kindness that energize us and it's not an easy time to be kind right now i don't care where you are in the world uh it feels like the whole world's on fire sometimes um and and it is uh in many cases and sometimes extending ourselves to someone who's struggling or sad or fearful um is just enough kindness to anchor them and then to elevate our own energy it's a very it's just such a beautiful give and take so yeah we could all let's all claim that card shall we everyone watching gets to claim that simple acts of kindness what that means here, folks, is don't come into the comments and beat me up. I'm just the messenger here. If you don't like the message, it's not my fault. I'm kidding. I know sometimes people get triggered. <laughs> Your simple act of kindness is to work through that. Okay, let's see what's coming through for the beautiful Cancerians. Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh, it comes back. Yeah, past life soulmate here. Oh, I see a shift. Hmm. This makes sense. You're all looking at me like, what the heck is she mumbling about? Okay, so the last reading I did, I had, uh, if you haven't watched it, you can. Sometimes the readings... You know, it's like a storyline that unfolds over time, and sometimes it's not. One reading to the next can be completely different. This feels a little bit attached. Um, last time I was unsure, I was picking up uh, two different energies and a possible being torn between two lovers kind of scenario. You know that song? Um, and that played out even further in the extended. So what I'm seeing here, but it, you know, there were choices. What I'm seeing here is a masculine and a court of course, masculine energy, feminine energy, not male, female. It isn't about gender. It isn't about gender. It's the energy that you're leading with in this particular um, connection at this time. The divine masculine is more action oriented, more yang, taking all the initiative. The feminine energy in these divine connections is more receptive and allowing, kind of going with the flow, letting things evolve organically. It's not a question about anybody's sexuality, masculinity, femininity, none of that. It's not about that. So I keep getting people saying, why are you male bashing? I'm not male bashing. <laughs> I'm not. I have no idea who's who here and, um, you know, own your own stuff. So three pentacles is how this masculine is showing up in the reading. That's an energy of co-creation. It's working together. It's usually you, your divine counterpart and spirit. See that beautiful energy there working to um, not only bring the connection into the here and now, because it's pentacles, but also to elevate it, to work together, to take it from something ordinary and make and turn it into something extraordinary. It's a very beautiful card, but this masculine in the, in the, in the connection right now, this is how they're showing up, ready and willing to work together, but they're scared. And I feel that it's like there's some... Um, insecurities that may be being triggered 
And that also leads me back to the thinking woman in reverse here um, because there's some measure of uncertainty about the direction. What am I really dealing with? Am I doing the right thing? I know that it involves past life soulmate energy. Here we have the beautiful six of cups. And going forward, this masculine is, um, here we have the, the male archetype of life partner found in the king of pentacles stable grounded reliable committed dependable someone who shows up for you every day so i feel like there's a shift that i'm feeling here and this masculine's wanting to work through it but is a little bit nervous and fearful or possibly feeling a little bit of insecurity feminine is a bit resistant here or possibly defensive defending themselves we're getting a message of love or apology though that's that's their present experience of the connection it could be coming from the masculine in the past solitary journey whatever went on here uh the feminine pulled back a little more reclusive on a sol solitary journey of personal growth self-exploration really the um hermit is this uh sage of the tarot so it's about your your own inner wisdom and now and then in the future we've got the justice card fairness balance equal give and take here something here that um sets you both on solid ground this can be a, a formalized legal process where somebody like a judge hears your truth their truth and then finds the truth and um determines what is just and fair so i just want to say that for some of you that might be the case it might be important let's look at it shall we we do have um pisces here in the moon card virgo in the hermit libra in the justice card just so you know and that king of pentacles is earth energy taurus virgo capricorn everybody came to play three of pentacles please mm -hmm. wanting to work together to build a life together i get it i'm feeling this masculine so much ready to commit build a life together i i am so on board with this masculine and look where they're headed yep i'm life partner material right here doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. It's the energy of the life partner. I just love it. Queen of Wands. Yeah. I know what I want. And I. Uh, this is very much somebody who is stepping into their power. This is somebody who's a firebrand, who's um, who has a powerful presence, is um, dynamic and creative. And just the way they carry themselves is attractive and alluring. I love it. I feel like this masculine wants to create a life with someone they're very attracted to. Someone they perceive as the queen of wands. Doesn't matter what your sun sign is. I'm trying to tell you. They really, they're really responding to the passion. Beautiful. And they know it will all come in divine time. When I pull from under the deck, for those who are new, it's just the unconscious energy of this person I'm reading for. Right now I'm reading about the masculine, unless I've got it in reverse. Only you will know. Um, but that wheel of fortune is this masculine is sort of like, yeah, let's work together. I think they've made up their mind that they want to work toward building a life with this queen of wands, but they're not pushing. This is, um, even though they're in the masculine energy, they are sort of allowing allowing fate right let, let fate take the wheel here mm -hmm. reconciliation and reunion second chances and forgiveness remember last reading was a little bumpy um and i feel this judgment card is another twin flame card it's answering the call of the connection so these energies right now are underneath it's the unconscious oh it's outside of un, of conscious awareness oh my gosh laura but what it, it, what it does is when it's right there under the surface, it sort of drives our behavior. You know how like you, you, you look at somebody and you're like, why the heck are they doing that? This is why they're doing that. It's what's underneath. It's not what's in our conscious reality because we can talk about that. 
they're not even ready to talk about it. It's all just bubbling up under the surface. I love, I love the bottom of the deck, and it is about commitment, sure. Hierophant. So now we have Sagittarian energy, Judgment is Scorpio, Hierophant is Taurus. Uh, what I love about this, and I only tell you that in case you know your natal chart and the natal chart of your divine counterpart, that's all, but it, it's not that important. What this is, is about this masculine having, a, like seeing this through new eyes in a way, not the hangman kind of new eyes, through a willingness to work together to make it real. And it does involve commitment. And that was an issue last time. So I'm glad to see that there's a shift now. Oh my gosh, my eye is twitching. <laughs> what does that mean? Y'all tell me, like, I get itchy nose, like, just on the outside of my nose, and y'all tell me that. Now I've got, like, a twitching eye. <laughs> Somebody put it in the comments. <laughs> oh, all these weird things happen when I read. I don't get it. <laughs> Six of Cups. Page of Swords, there's the Hanged Man. So I kind of had it right. Although this is the past experience and the lovers, interesting, and the devil. Okay. And I'm going to pull this card too, and, and this one too. Wow, it really sort of tells a story. Cancerians, um, for those who may be the masculine. Some information came through. Possibly you had a, your, your eye on this Six of Cups, on your past life soulmate, on this feminine. Saw something on social media. Maybe you guys texted. This is information. The Page of Swords is little, a little bit of a detective, you know, ferreting out information. For clarity's sake, not creepy. For clarity's sake, I'll tell you when it's creepy. It's not creepy. And, um... And then kind of pulling back in a way to see the situation with the new eyes. That is what I was saying. Fresh perspective. Looking at it from a different perspective with fresh eyes. So it, it was coming through already, but I feel like some information came in either through this feminine or about this feminine. And I'm saying feminine because the twin flame soulmate card, the past life soulmate card is here. So it, it leads me to believe it's about this person and saying, yeah, I'm going to pull back, delay my gratification, really look at this situation, right? Because when you're hanging upside down, the world looks different and you're forced to consider a wider array of perspectives and possibilities, but you're also waiting for enlightenment. There's that sort of glow, the orb around his head, waiting for the enlightenment from, um, from higher self or spirit. It's a very spiritual card, more Pisces energy here. So Pisces might be important. And then we get the lovers. The lovers is a card of choice. Yeah, looking at this from new perspectives in the energy of making a choice and letting go of toxic patterns of the past. I feel the choice was between the lover or this sort of obsessive pattern or the other person. Remember in that other reading, if you're here, Cancer, uh, as a follow-up to the last reading, if not, don't worry about it. You can always go back and watch that if you haven't ever seen it. But um, there was a t there was a poll. There was some, some um, this is now temptation, obsession, possessiveness, whatever it is, it's karmic in nature. And I feel like this masculine really made the choice to walk away from that. I am going to walk away from the drama. I am going to walk away from what does not fulfill me on an emotional level. I choose the lover. I choose the past life soulmate. Because, yeah, this was more than I can handle. Third party energy. Too painful. Walking away from the pain. Walking away from that, that um, very toxic, possibly karmic energy. Could have been the third party that I kept feeling showing up last time doesn't have to be uh this can be a totally different reading but it feels kind of linked on some level the moon well end of the painful chapter sure it's bringing up all the insecurities is this is this 
divine counterpart is this past life soulmate going to choose you back i can feel this masculine and if you're the feminine you're seeing what they're struggling with end of the painful chapter oh i got a hair <laughs> end of a painful chapter can trigger some insecurity you don't know you don't know what you don't know and it's scary and um it 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 triggers all our fears and insecurities even though the decision has been made end of a painful chapter there's the i love you guys i love you so much cancer you're just like such an open book okay and you know what here's the funny thing you're not really open books when i meet cancerians i meet the crab i meet the shell before i meet the soft underbelly right here i love that you're showing up with a soft underbelly like yes oh i love you okay so see message of love or apology is on offer here to this feminine and there's some concern will they take it so there's a energy of being patient here the temperance card's been wanting to come out i've seen it on several shuffles here um it is about tempering the energy it is about patience to some degree if you think about it um you know if you're if you're baking you don't pour a cold eggs into hot batter or you get scrambled egg cake <laughs> you wait till the cold eggs come to room temperature and the batter cools a bit does that make sense i'm just i'm not a baker i don't even play one on tv but that's like the best <laughs> y'all have a better analogy put it in the comments with love and kindness um, but that's what I feel like this masculine is doing is trying to temper the energies and and be patient while they're waiting for this feminine to come around, which I really like. I really like that. King of Pentacles in the future. Yep, stepping into the role of life partner, stable, grounded, reliable, practical, dependable. Someone who's going to be there for this person and not giving up. This was in my, this card uh, was the card that was the underarching energy for my morning meditation for you guys. This card came out first. So there's something about the perseverance here that's really key. In the future, this masculine will wait and will persevere. It feels a little like I will crawl over the shards of broken glass to get across that finish line like this masculine has no quit in them and i like that and that came out this morning i think the temperance card did as well i'm not sure i can't remember that one more on this yeah whoo moving toward love cancerians wow yeah persevering and moving toward love this is someone who, it's very romantic it will it, this masculine will take action toward this feminine with their heart wide open heart on their sleeve i've got nothing to hide sharing their feelings openly which is you know not always easy for you to do cancer so if you happen to be here as the um a cancer masculine i get it <laughs> there it is yeah king of pentacles again so i have it right um what's motivating you is the energy of stepping in if I'm talking to the Cancerian masculine, if I, if, if you're here as the feminine Cancerian, then this is your masculine. So now, I, hello. Um, <laughs> I feel like you're going to persevere and it's all about love for you and moving toward love. And you're motivated by that shift in your energy toward life partnership, whatever that means to you guys. It doesn't have to mean marital, you know, partners. It can just mean, um, something more committed because we do have the commitment card something more grounded where you're more you know in touch with with each other on a regular basis in the here and now where the combo of the two of your energies isn't just in fifth dimension that you bring it right here into the 3d so i like that feminine in the seven of wands you coming at, you're coming at me with a message of love or apology now well i got something to say <laughs> oh yeah 
feminine, you'll act defensive, but you're you're really all in for the perseverance of it. That that nine of um, wands and the strength card feel a little connected to me. It's almost like, you know, the strength is is courage. It's courage, and I feel like it's like you're gathering your courage to stand up for what you think you deserve. And what you deserve is definitely a message of love or apology, and it's coming to you. So if it hasn't arrived yet, it's on its way. We're all on different timelines, so act, you know, govern yourselves accordingly. But I also feel in a way like this, this is the two of you pushing through. Like even though you may be a little defensive or, you know, um, hands on hips is what I'm feeling about that card. <laughs> like, why have you put me through this? Right, then there's this beautiful energy where you help each other push through, get past the challenge. Because she's tickling the chin of the beast and scratching his nose and then he protects her in return. And there's like this connection between them that's eternal. If you look at the little figure eight above her head. So I do feel there's a shift here. And that, yes, endings and new beginnings. This was in the morning uh, reading as well. So yes, that's what was there. Endings and new beginnings. And I did make that connection between the nine which was the anchoring card and then that world card. And I thought, oh, there's no quit in this couple. They're really going to work it out. I feel like this is the feminine being very motivated to put an end to a chapter and start something new with this person. It's beautiful. And that strength card is Leo. The world card is... Um, you know, I'm going to take what's on the bottom. I don't normally do this and stop myself mid-shuffle, but I didn't um, contaminate it. I saw it. I didn't taint it, I should say. Seven of Pentacles also on the bottom. So endings and new beginnings. Yeah, but let it happen organically. Let it happen. Be the patience that you hate to be. I know it because I know exactly who I'm speaking to right here. And it has been a struggle. And But I feel like the motivation here now is shifting a bit. Because if this message of love or apology comes in, it may not be the final part of the storyline for you, but it may be the beginning of the end of the old part. Does that make sense? The beginning of the end of the old part that wasn't good, that didn't serve either of you. And that's what you're going to be patient for. Then you're going to be like, this I can wait for. This I can be patient for. So please forgive me for stopping mid-shuffle. I thought that was important. Here we are with the Virgo energy of the hermit really on the solitary journey kind of by yourself mm -hmm. any action here from this feminine has been slow uh deliberate practical with a plan and it was all about choosing the path here. I do feel that on some level, this feminine has been in a, in a hard to describe kind of energy, almost as if um, almost as, okay, this is what I feel. This is what I feel. I feel that this is the this feminine didn't want to be on this journey by themselves. I feel that's what they're now kind of pushing up. It's like it, it feels more oppressive to me than by choice. And when that happens, sometimes we move very slowly. Everything we do in our lives just slows down because we're sort of um yeah, we're, we're, it's, it's, it's not the five of pentacles, but it's close in that feeling of just not being able to access the warmth of the connection. That's the five of pentacles, but I'm feeling this hermit energy for this feminine was not by their choice. And so everything in life kind of slows down in slow motion and everything has to be thought through and everything this feminine would take action on with regard to this connection had to be thought about not once, not twice, three times, four times, cross a T, dot the I, right? Very deliberate. And that takes a lot of energy. A lot of energy. 
And then here's the two of wands. How do you want to play this? You got two paths before you, feminine, and you looked at both of them, not knowing which path do I take here, right? Do I hang and wait this out or do I move along? And I do feel like the whole thing for you was very much in slow motion. Here's the five of cups. Five of cups, regrets of the past, some things that um, might have been hurtful or that you might have regretted. It's mistakes of the past, it's regrets of the past, but sometimes it's being sad about what has been lost. And I think that that went into your thinking process here, your, your, you know, with the two of wands, choosing a path. And in the past, you kind of stayed in the past. You stayed in the energy of what, what was very hurtful or sorrowful, what you feel you had but lost. Now that apology arrives on the scene. Message of love. Yeah. It's a little overwhelming. Seven of Cups can also be um, like a little fantasy. Like, is this, a re is this really happening or am I fantasizing? It can be this feminine is fantasizing about receiving a message of love or apology. But that's very channeled mirrored energy here because this masculine is wanting to do that, is a little fearful and nervous. So you're definitely picking up on their energy if... Um, if you're wondering if you're fantasizing about it and if it's ever going to happen, it's already on its way if it hasn't received you. Queen of Swords, you're going to have a lot of questions. When that message of love or apology comes in, you're going to have a lot of questions. Like, we need to have a meeting of the minds. We need to talk this through. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. Um, I think this whole thing has been a little bit not a lot of it. I think it's really thrown you off. I think it's really thrown you off. And you're going to really want the clarity. The energy of the Queen of Swords, very open. Let me hear what you have to say. But this is a truth seeker. She's a truth teller, but she's a truth seeker. I want to know what I'm really dealing with. How do you, you know, what's really going on here? And then we get the Justice card, which I love. Two of Pentacles and the King of Swords now. Wow. And the Queen of Pentacles underneath. Yay, yay. So now we have a King and Queen of Pentacles um, and we have the King and Queen of Swords. So we've got the clarity and the groundedness. Nice. I do feel that this Justice card is about fairness with regard to this masculine and the energy of the king of swords doing things the right way something has to be formalized there has to be some formalized action if this isn't about a divorce or it isn't about a separation or it isn't about a legal document um, or process in a court of law it could just be about this masculine taking the steps right weighing their priorities weighing realities on the ground this is 3D, two of pentacles, the ups, the downs, the pros, the cons, the ins, the outs, right? And then taking a formalized action in order to do the right thing. That can be about formally parting from that third party. Because that's what I felt in that last reading. And if, if the last reading didn't resonate with you, if there's anybody hanging on, right? Not someone this masculine's currently seeing or interested in, but somebody from their past that hasn't gotten the memo, then what I see is what will help this feminine going forward is that formalized process. Some formalized process where this masculine and the energy of King of Swords does the right thing. Takes that action. That's what will restore the balance and underneath the deck, Queen of Pentacles. Everything guiding this feminine is about being in the feminine energy of life partner. 
so there's very mirrored energy i think you both want the same thing um i'm not sure you've communicated it fully to each other but you will if this is your storyline you will i do feel you're both a little apprehensive and fearful maybe a little overwhelmed but i see a big shift here it's a nice reading okay here's what i'm going to do cancer you know the drill i am going to pull three cards now in the extended the link is right below and i'm going to look at the two of you together i'm pulling you together now more holistically then i'm going to pull a card what is this masculine not saying to the feminine but trying to communicate energetically so that's a message you you know something you may need to know and the same thing in reverse pulling a card uh for the um what the feminine is thinking or feeling about the masculine a message they are trying to deliver energetically then i'm going to pull a card for you cancerians watching from your higher self spirit the universe that often comes through as a confirmation a clarification sometimes general advice or a warning something to be careful about right and then the last card will be uh what you can expect going forward and in what time frame i am seeing more patience here on the part of this feminine um and i do see the wheel of fortune up here so that already leads me to believe that you're both sort of in the energy of letting this roll out organically but we'll take a look at that as well okay thank you thank you for joining me i'm i'm so happy for this reading it feels very uplifting and positive um yeah there's there's some stuff you can be working on right now though and you can energetically support each other through that okay take care cancer uh the link to the extended is below i'll see you there in a second or on a future reading